Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to reset your internet connection uh, on Ubuntu 20.04 and it'll also work on 18.04. Now uh, this is kind of a, an adjunct to my other guides uh, where you set uh, custom DNS servers. Uh, so this is how to reverse everything we did in those guides. Okay, so first thing we need to do is go into NetPlan configuration. So we open up a terminal and then we change directories to etc netplan and then we do the directory command dir and you'll see your yaml configuration file for your connection there so we copy that file name and then we go sudo nano and then just paste the file name in there and enter your password if it asks okay so as you can see there uh, I've got lots of custom directives um, that we have to get rid of. Um, now on one of the guides I changed the renderer to network D. Um, so if, if your connection is set with network D, change it back to network manager. So camel case with no space. Alright, but basically all we do here is we go down to that position and delete everything underneath renderer. Uh, and that's all we need for our connection for the net plan. Uh, that's how it is uh, default when you install Ubuntu. So we go Control O to, to save and then enter and then Control X to exit. So now we need to apply the new plan. So we go sudo net plan apply and if all is well you'll come up with a new command prompt. Um, if the errors come up uh, it'll be to do with uh, indentation with YAML uh, if you looked at my other guides uh, always use the spacebar to indentate don't use tab because it won't work it'll just throw an error okay uh, now if you used one of my guides or if you've otherwise changed settings inside uh, using network manager um, click on the network icon up there wired connected and then wired settings and then uh, whether it's wired or Wi-Fi it doesn't matter uh, click on the gear icon and then you may have messed with settings in here um, and you're having trouble getting them back to defaults that's fine all we do is we click the button remove connection profile and then give it a tick and then click on the little plus button there and leave everything at defaults and just click add all right and it's simple as that it'll come up so as you can see there it's all connected so that's your new profile restored so that is uh, back at uh, Ubuntu defaults okay uh, any questions or comments leave them below and I'll catch you next time guys cheers